Good morning. I am here with our daily Disney devotional and today we're going to be reading number 91 which is the festival of the Lion King and I know that this rivals my favorite show for the best but we all know that Finding Nemo the musical is actually the best. From one show to another let's head over to another really good one on the other side of the park. This one doesn't really have a story, but it's more about stunts, exciting visuals, and music. Let's focus today on the Festival of the Lion King. Again, we tend to shorten the name of this one and refer to it as the Lion King Show. It takes place in the African section of the park, but it used to be known, it used to be shown in Camp Mini Mickey when it opened with the park in 1998. Camp Minnie Mickey Land is no more. That land has been completely transformed and is now Pandora. Therefore, in 2014, they moved the show to Africa and built a brand new theater to house it. This show also takes place at the Kong, Hong Kong Disneyland. It is in the form of a musical review and is not just a condensed version of the film or a Broadway show. However, some of the performers in the show have gone on to perform on Broadway. Entering the 1500 seat theater, you will notice it divided into four sections. Each will be based on a certain animal. Where, oh, the four animals are warthog, elephant, giraffe, and lion. Based on where they sit, guests cheer for these animals and even have to act like them a few times during the show. The 30 minute show involves 136 costumes and is shown seven to 10 times per day. It involves floats based on each animal and the four animals above. The floats are previously used, were previously used during a Disneyland parade to promote the film when it first came out. This show was originally supposed to be temporary and was as was the land it was in. The plan was to eventually put it in the beastly kingdom as this part of the animal kingdom to highlight the mythical and fantasy creatures. However, that land, um, however, the land and especially the show were quite popular and became a permanent fixture instead. When the show moved to Africa a couple of years ago, the Timon character from the film received an upgrade. He now blinks his eyes and his mouth actually moves when you hear his voice. There have been a couple of incidences with this show. On March 21st, 2016, 16, a small electrical fire began beneath the elephant float during a performance. The fire was quickly extinguished and nobody was hurt. The show resumed the next day and the three other floats continued to be used while the elephant float was fixed. Another incident involved three of the performers who were fired for refusing to wear the costumes that the other performers wore. They complained of the costumes being dirty and sweaty. Apparently, Disney did not agree with their reasoning and they got the magical boot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you ever seen the Lion King movie? Has anyone not seen it? In a word, it's a classic with a great storyline and music. What would you say is the lesson from this movie? Disney films always tend to have a good message and they may be subtle. In this movie, Simba runs away from his home and his family when he thinks he is responsible for his father's death. He grows up far away from home and finds happiness in a new place. However, when his friend from childhood finds him and tells him how much trouble his homeland is in, he has a dilemma. Simba isn't sure if he can go back home. He doesn't believe he has the courage and strength to defeat the evil uncle and make things good again. Of course, it's Disney, so there has to be a happy ending, right? Simba does eventually make the decision to go back home and he finds the courage to defeat the power of evil, AKA Uncle Scar. I would say that the main lesson from this film is to believe in yourself and stand up for your beliefs. In our last devotional, we talked about how we need to be different from this world, 
So in today's message, it's similar, but we're going to take it a step further and say that we also need to stand up to the world and be bold to what's right. Sometimes in the struggle of this world, it's hard to have courage. Sometimes it's hard to believe in ourselves and stand up for what we know is true. It's much easier to conform to the world and stay quiet. However, that's not what we are called to do. Isaiah 41.10 says that God will strengthen and uphold us. It also tells us not to fear for God is with us. In Psalms 18.32, I'm sorry. <clears throat> In Psalms 1832, it says that God who arms us with strength, obviously we need God to give us strength and courage, especially in times of fear. However, we are also told in 2 Timothy 1 7 that God gave us his spirit and it does not make us timid, but instead makes us powerful. In other words, God has given us the spirit power to be strong when the world is scary. His spirit inside of us gives us the ability to stand up for our beliefs and believe in ourselves. The Lion King show is an entertaining show. The music is good and of course the stunts are pretty impressive. In my opinion, the movie is even better and the message displayed is one that we can take to heart. We all need to remember to believe in ourselves there is no doubt that God will give us the strength if we are in need. We can always pray to God for more strength and courage. Just remember that we already have that strength inside of us to make, I mean, through the power of his Holy Spirit. We all need to be sure that we are not letting our fears get the best of us, but instead that we are using our God-given power to further his kingdom. That is awesome. I thought somebody was shooting a gun, but they're not. So don't be afraid. Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.